Hello and welcome to this history overview of the 4.6 kilometer entertainment guided tour. Now this is quite interesting when you look at how London used to look going back in time. Now there's a phrase by W.H. Auden which says that in order to know a country you have to live in two others. But sometimes in order to know London you have to live in two different eras of London and the two that I've chosen are the Tudor age which is Queen Elizabeth the first time Henry the eighth time and the second one is in the Victorian times so that would be about 1850 when Charles Dickens was also around so we have Shakespeare and we have Charles Dickens but I've also put the Stuarts in the middle for King Charles II the king who brought back partying because he's in some respects responsible for the development of the entertainment district of London. So let's see what London looked like in the 16th century. You can see that London is quite well contained with inside its city walls and there's a London bridge, it's the one you see in the middle and that is Southwark and that's all London was. Now at the time there wasn't all that many people so you're really talking about 70,000 people living in London in about 1500 and that moved up to 700,000 by the time you got to the Stuarts and by the time you got to Victorians it had expanded to about 2.6 million people. Now if we also look we've got places like St Giles and we've got Kensington and we've got Marabones and you can see there's nothing there at all. So London was really self-contained. The whole of the West End and the Entertainment District is not even on the map. And that's quite clear if we have a look at this slightly later map. You can see Covent Garden is in fact just fields. And that was because this was actually owned by the church. And at the time of this map's creation, Henry VIII had become independent from the Catholic Church. And he was taking back the lands and the monies from the monastic areas around London. And this would have been one of the first development areas for the entertainment industry. Now if we have a look at this map from 1560, I've plotted the routes of some of the photo runs as best as I can ascertain them. And you can see that they are really just in the middle of the country. Now we look at those in a bit more detail as we go forward. But as we start to move out towards the Victorian times, you can see that London is completely built up. Now this map is turn the other way around so this is the River Thames down in here and this is the north and this is Piccadilly Circus uh, this is the start at Covent Garden and that's Trafalgar Square but you can see that the whole aspect about how London is put together is very similar to what it is today the only real exception is the second part of the run when we go through Shaftesbury Avenue because that would have not have been built at this time that will give you a good overview to most of the entertainment areas in London. I do another route which actually goes from Covent Garden all the way up to Tottenham Court Road through St Giles but I haven't included it on this set of runs but that is also the entertainment areas but also that has a slightly different history to the other areas that we've been talking about here and that ends this section.